All right, you guys, today we're check out how to make this a really cool Chrome effect here in Photoshop. Now, you might think that it actually can be done in Photoshop, but for this one, I used a plugin called iCandy7. I'm going to go with this design as a reference, or right click on the layer with the text, convert a smart object, and after you install the plugin, you can go to the filter. Let's go all the way down to the exposure software, and here you got the iCandy7. Click on it. Now you can use this plugin totally for free for 30 days. So I'm going to go with the trial version. And we're going to go up here to the left menu. You can see the brick wall and you can change it up with a lot of materials here. And check this out. We got the Chrome. I'm going to select the Chrome. It's going to load up. And by the way, here at the factory, you also can open it up and check out some other Chrome materials with different kind of reflections. Now I'm going to go back with Ctrl Z and here on the right menu, you can find the bevel width. So if you increase it, it is going to make it look more sharp. You can decrease it and it's going to make it look flat. I'm also going to increase the bevel height all the way up. It still looks sharp. And here we got the smoothness. I also got to bump this up to 100. I also got these hard lines in it. So I'm going to go to the bevel width and decrease it a little bit. There you go. And check this out. We also got the surface. Right now it's on none. I'm going to select the pits and it's going to add some droplets on it. Or you got the lumps. Now it actually is distorted. Or you got the rough. Now it looks like an aluminum foil or something. And then if you select the lumps, you can modify the bump depth and the bump spacing. So if I increase the bump depth, it is going to actually make it really bumpy and distorted. And I'm going to decrease the spacing and it's going to start making that foil effect again. So let's deactivate that. And you also got here the lighting. And here in the factory, you also got a couple of more materials where you can change it up. But mainly this is it. And from here, you can click on OK and it applied successfully the Chrome, you also can see in the smart layer that the iCandy 7 appears right here. And this is how I make this Chrome text effect here on iCandy 7. Thanks for watching.